I've told my mother, I've told my friend. Hey everyone, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing another coffee talk. I actually haven't done one in about two weeks. Granted, I drink coffee every morning, but I don't always do coffee talks. Um, <laughs> I solely for the fact that coffee talks, I feel like in 2017 evolved from like nothing to something and like now in 2018, I really want to make my coffee talks be more about a certain subject. <laughs> Uh, rather than just like a broad topic like it was in 2017 however it may end up being the same thing I don't know we're gonna talk if you want to come join me for today's coffee talk go ahead go grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate or whatever you drink and uh, let's meet back right here okay so you got your coffee now <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about what this coffee talk is actually going to be about. So today's coffee talk is going to be about new year, new mindset. So I have had an epiphany. <laughs> um, I love the new year. I love every part of like starting fresh and having a fresh blank set. I can't think of the right term. I love a new year. I love new beginnings and new starts and new pages and new... I just like that. I like that I went into 2018 with a mindset of this is going to be an amazing year. I'm going to make this year amazing. <laughs> um, I just... I like New Year's. I just said that about six times, so I hope that y'all understand it. I like New Year's and I like everything about it. So going 2017, like I've talked about in a prior video, I spent a lot of 2017 very anxious and down and upset and I was a roller coaster of emotions. It was everywhere. Um, a lot of that was because of situations I put myself in, a lot of it was because I was having some issues with other people, some things that shouldn't have ever happened. Uh, I I put myself in a lot of situations that caused it. However, in 2018, my goal is really to spend a lot of the year in a good mood and happy and not in those situations. Um, I feel like I've learned, I've grown, and now it's time to put all of that wisdom and all of that stuff to good use. So when 2018 started, I decided that I was not going to sit and dwell on what happened in 2017. Yes, most of my year was amazing. There was some really good times, especially towards the end of the year. 2017 wasn't awful. Like I actually had a pretty good year, but there were some things that happened, <laughs> um, just like in anybody else's year, that definitely defined 2017 and are things that I do not want to relive or redo or any of that good jazz in 2018. So, um, I went to the new year and I said, you know what, it's a new year, new page, new slate, that's the term, slate, new slate, etc. I am going to just be happy. I am going to do what makes me happy. I am going to wake up and I'm gonna remind myself that it's a new day, anything can happen, and I don't know. <laughs> uh, whenever I started waking up like that, and I, you know, every morning I woke up and I told myself, okay, it was just a dream, or okay, you're okay, you're fine, you're doing good. It really has changed my mindset. So today is the 14th? Yeah, today is the 14th. And so in the past, whoa. It's the last day of the second week. Just noticed that. <laughs> so in the last two weeks, I have like really been in a good mood. I've been happier. I've been more motivated. I've been just, I've been feeling so much better. 
And that is because of my mindset change. I know a lot of people say, oh, that's all mumbo jumbo. And trust me, I was one of those people. I was like, it doesn't matter what my mindset is. It's like, if there's bad stuff going on, then I'm gonna be in a bad mood. You know, and I used to, and I have a couple of friends who would tell me, you know, oh no, like girl, if you put yourself in a happy mood, you're gonna be happy. And I was just like, no, that's not possible. But I'm now one of those people who's telling you, put yourself in a happy mood. Put yourself in a good mood. Wake up and just tell yourself it's a new day. You can't relive what happened yesterday, even if yesterday was awful. Today's a new day, start over, start fresh, make the best of whatever it was that made yesterday bad. That's all you can do for goodness sakes. Good to... So along with like being happier and changing my mindset and all that, how does that like really like affect my year? Well, having a different mindset is going to affect everything. I I'm gonna I want to do a video where I go into more depth about you know affirmations and all that good jazz later when I'm a little bit more versed or when I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about the subject. Right now I just know little bits and pieces here and there that I've learned, um, and I know it's working for me personally. <laughs> um, but over the last couple weeks, I've seen an amazing like change and shift of you know social media and opportunities that I've gotten here recently that I'm just like whoa like <laughs> where did that come from and it's and yeah maybe it's just luck or whatever you can call it but honestly I think it's because I've I've been spreading that positivity and I've been really in a good mood to the point where like I'm not on social media downing myself I'm not making a big deal out of nothing i'm generally just like happy and it feels good it feels amazing to not feel so sad and so upset and so mad about life it feels so good to just be happy and i finally feel like i'm getting back to who i was and 2016 when I spent so much of the year just in a good mood. I was generally happy. I didn't, you know, and like I said, 2017 wasn't a bad year, but there were a lot of days and a lot of times when I would wake up and I just, I didn't feel good and I didn't feel happy and I dwelled on those moments. And that is something that I am really grateful that I'm changing and I'm hoping that I can continue to change. I'm hoping that this is something that I can continue to follow. This isn't just like a two week thing. <laughs> um, although I don't think it is. I think that I'm doing pretty good so far considering everything. Um, but yeah. Um, um, a few things or a few tips on how I personally change my mindset and how you can change your mindset. Number one, wake up and s wake up and just tell yourself you are okay. Something about that is so powerful for me, and maybe it's not for you, and maybe you need to find your own affirmation. But find something that makes you feel good. For me, when I wake up and I and I tell myself you're okay, you're okay, you've got this. You're going to you're you're getting your stuff done it makes me feel <laughs> so good and it makes me feel like okay I can get through today I can make myself happier I can handle whatever's thrown at me I can do exactly what I need to do <sighs> the second tip that I have for helping stay happy is to stop doing things that you don't love stop doing things that do not bring you happiness stop doing those things now there are things like going to work or working out maybe or going to school that you don't like that you have to do in those situations try and just remember this is a job this is school 
it will be over. I will get a new job or I will go to a different school soon or I'm going to transfer or if school especially, if you are not wanting to go to school, if you're not wanting to go to school, try joining a club. Try, you know, putting yourself more involved in things. If you hate your job, try just remembering this is just a job. This is not my career. This is not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. If I wanted to, I could go out and get another job. If I wanted to, I could go to school, get a get a degree and get a career and go to and you know, I'll have a new job. Start instead of thinking about the negative, try and find the positive. That is so important, which is why that is my third tip is <laughs> try and find the positive. Don't always look at everything from the negative point of view. If you look at everything from the negative point of view, guess what? It's going to be negative. And <laughs> take it from me, having negative point of views, they don't really serve you any purpose. Honestly, it just makes your day worse. Just happy point of views. <laughs> So what are you trying to do this year to change your mindset? Are you trying to be happier? Are you trying to have less anxiety? Are you trying to just not dwell on the moment? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you're trying to do this year. And with that, I believe that this coffee talk is over. <laughs> um, if you like this video, go ahead, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you wouldn't mind, hit the red subscribe button right down below. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or my blog, they are always linked down in the description below as well. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. <music>